microplastics are wherever you can find it. They are everywhere. It's just a matter of looking for it. If you want to see if you have a microplastic in a, a river, you just have to go because for sure, almost uh, with a great percentage, uh, you will find microplastics or in the water or in the, or in the sediment. And what is the problem is that um, these tiny plastic particles can do harm in different ways. Uh, for instance, for small organisms like the ones that we only see under the scope, and uh, if they ingest a little bit of this fiber, because they can confound these, uh, these plastic items with their natural prey, they, these fibers can interrupt and block uh, vital organs and uh, the organisms just die. In larger organisms, what, uh, what can happen is, is that the nanoplastic can pass through the, the gut and they can go and enter in some uh, organs and they can affect all the, all the natural um, physiology of the animal. We already know from uh, uh, other research and really recent research is that um, microplastics were found in the human blood. So there is uh, evidence that uh, these uh, new contaminants can enter into the system of the human body. Infections are one of the things that are uh, expected to occur because it's a, a strange uh, particle inside the, the organism and the organism is going to respond to it. This is in terms of research, we're still doing baby steps on that. We still need to continue and further understanding what are these contaminants doing, what are they exactly causing. It's still um, very preliminary to, to answer.